Good evening, Namaskar. I, Kriti Vadhera, would like to welcome all our viewers and learners to CIT NCRT's special live phone in program. This is Sahiyog session. Sahiyog, where we discuss about the mental well being of our children and adolescents around us. And today, the topic is very interesting. I guess I will also be learning a lot of, out of it. Uh, topic is going to be mirroring of self, learning from experiences. And the guests who have joined us for today today's discussion, I would like to introduce Dr. Elizabeth Gangme. Uh, Namaskar, we welcome you Dr. Gangme. Thank Good you evening. so much. Namaste. Namaste. And Dr. Namaste. Gangme Namaste. has joined us from uh, RI Bhuvneshwar. And there, there's one more guest, a practicing counselor who has joined us for today's discussion, Madhushri Sharmaji. Madhushri ji, we welcome you to NCRT Sayok session. Namaste everyone. I'm blessed to be a part of your program. Thank you. And before we start with today's uh, Sahiyog session discussion, I would like to remind you here that you are watching us on PME with their uh, channels and uh, if you feel to ask any questions to our experts, you can dial on our toll free numbers. Numbers would be 1-800-111-265 and the other number is 1-800-112-199. You can also send your questions and queries on, on our official YouTube streaming which is happening now on our official YouTube channel NCRT official. So beginning with today's Sahayog session discussion, bringing you into the discussion Dr. Elizabeth first, uh, what it is all about mirroring self, what do we mean about it? Thank you so much uh, Kriti for uh, being with, uh, be, uh, giving us this opportunity. We all know that now, uh, you know, life is uh, changing so fast uh, and, uh, you know, so much of, uh, you know, uh, un un unprecedented things are happening. So our life is, you know, in a very, uh, you know, fast-paced mode and uh, we all know that, uh, you see, we have to adapt to the change that happen. And especially during this time when we are facing uh, this kind of, uh, you know, unprecedented situations. I think adaptability and adjustment and all these are the, you know, life skills that we have to adopt, uh, which is very, very important. So all these things uh, come from, you know, like uh, from, from, uh, from within us, most importantly from within us. So uh, being, you know, self-aware, being uh, self-reflective, uh, these are very, very important for us to uh, have the kind of you know that uh, strong uh, you know uh, foundation in us to be able to adapt to be able to face the challenges that face uh, that that is uh, facing us to uh, every day so uh, here as already the host has mentioned about today topic that is mirroring of self uh, learning from experience so first of all i would like to explain about what is the general concept of mirroring so mirroring in a psychological term is the uh, concept that everything around you around me around you reflect back information about oneself about myself about yourself okay so the whatever uh, you know that that is surrounding you your phenomena your social milieu so whatever is in your situation that is that is being reflect back to you okay so that is one of the concept the other concept also is that uh, you know mirroring is the behavior in, in which one person un unconsciously imitate the gesture the speech pattern or the attitude of another uh, which happen every time Okay, so it may be you, uh, you see it may be you are imitating uh, your, uh, the uh, the gestures of other by observing. So it happened mostly in a non-verbal way. So whatever that we have observed, whatever we have seen, see most of the time we we see that we observe that and and then it reflect back in our behavior or uh, in our attitude. So that is a, what is the general meaning of mirroring. So today, but the topic is on self mirroring. So self mirroring here is, you know, it is to understand. So it is self. It's it's including self. It's right. not only about mirroring. So uh, Dr. Gangme, I can see you. Yeah. You are sharing some slides as well. Can you please change them for our viewers? Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, so uh, first of all, let me also clarify that what is self mirroring? Self mirroring is, you know, to understand clearly who we are, who we are, and how we, how others see us, and how we fit into this world. So, it's it, it's very important that we are very clear of ourselves first. 
so to understand uh, you know until and unless i'm clear about myself i will i will not be able to understand other people feeling until and unless i know myself i will not be able to empathize with others i will not be able to feel about what others feel so it is about knowing clearly knowing uh, you know understanding very clearly who i am and how other will see me how other will see us and how we can fit into that that is what is a uh, topic of today yes right uh, and that is what self mirroring is and as the title is mirroring of self learning from experiences now i i would like to bring into the discussion our practicing counselor madhushri sharma ji uh, madhushri ji how can mirroring of self can be related to experiences can you please elaborate for our viewers yes obviously we learn from experiences day to day life gives us so many experiences and every experience is valuable and to benefit from that experience we need to take a test to be little bit and we should know about our self better so we should spend time with ourselves knowing so how we can know about our self we have to just ponder upon, upon our feelings, our thoughts, observe what is around you. So many emotions are coming and going when we are facing any kind of situation in life. Suppose if I talk about the current situation, so many emotions of emotion, of sorrow, of joy, many things are coming up. And what are our actions and how do we react? to these situations which come up. We are surrounded by so many feelings in our daily life and we are so busy in our day that we should take a pause sometime so that we can take a look upon ourselves and know yes, I am this and I, if I understand myself, I can understand others also in a better way. This is learning from experience. So, as I give example of today's program only, I am here, so this is my new experience, I will learn. So, we have to reflect upon what are the feelings that are coming and going just now, what are my thoughts about the program just now, which I am a part of, what do I observe about this, and what are the emotions, I am uh, very happy, I am thankful. So, what are my actions related to the program and how will I react? This is all about reflection. So today let us pick up this and know about our better self. Right. And now when we uh, know that these experiences do matter for us, can you please tell something about the strategies to be followed for ex uh, you know, uh, experiencing this uh, mirroring of yourself? Yes. So, suppose I am standing in front of the mirror and I only look into my physical self, isn't it? But what about my mind, my thoughts, my emotions? So, I have to take a pause, sit somewhere in my favorite corner and ask, ask questions to yourself. You have to ask, these are the techniques to mirror yourself, know yourself better. First, you have to ask questions. What? What is the situation which I am facing? Why? Why did it happen? What went well? What went wrong? Well? And how it can be improved? If we try to keep on pondering about this why why questions, so we will be enough better condition to think about the various situations. We will be able to think about multiple things. We will pass right. out of the various creative ideas. So this what, why, and how question should be totally be into our mind. So asking question gives a path to the next sort of um, sequencing of thoughts. So, Suppose the next one is analyze with the term what if. If I am uh, stuck up in a situation, 
I facilitate I am writing an essay or I am um, in a conversation with my friend and uh, something happened with the phone and I did not talk to him or her very nicely. So I have to look into the situation in other way round. What if, what if you have to bear the other person truth also and think from the other person's side like empathize with other what if either in this situation we have to reflect beyond of the day our reflection always help us to make a better self next comes self talk very important for, uh, nowadays for students you know the best you know yourself the best I repeat why because you know your property, you know your dimensions, you know your creativity. So if you will talk to yourself more, what is right, what is wrong, what are your strengths, and how can you overcome your demerits? So the level of success in all your lives. And then, this is for students and teachers and every person in this world that if I write, I can express myself by listening, I can speak, I can uh, I can talk to or talk about it to someone. But if I write and give myself all positive words, and the words which define me, won't I mirror myself? Yes, I am a good listener. But oh, I am a talkative also. So, so if you give the word listener and talkative, you compare the contrast between these two. It's very easy, but if you will read these five words afterwards, you will think that yes, you have laid your own down in a notebook with a pencil and a paper, wherever you want. Five words which define you will make you think at least one person ponder upon your thoughts. And for this, to exaggerate on that, you can note down your feelings and observation. Today I am here. I will write down what the feelings and observation, how the work goes on, how I am I feeling. So these observations, how I could have been better, how things are going on, what could have been uh, um, done by me, what I was not able to do, what I could do, what was my uh, achievement. These observations and feelings, if we note down in a notebook and write a journal, so you can keep the forever, a lifetime. And you can just uh, see it whenever you are free and you can have a new time and a new corner for this. The next and the last one, technique to mirror yourself, let me visualize the experience in the other way around. Today in this situation of pandemic, we can feel so many things around us. We are surrounded by so many experiences that are coming and uh, emotions which are coming and going. But Visualizing the experience in other way around. If I feel to know someday that oh, what is happening around me, but if I take a pause and think, I am blessed also. I can see in the other way around, oh, I am blessed, I am healthy, I am able to learn new things. Today, I am able to. To all of you, all my viewers, I am able to come here and join the program. So, this is the other way around people. So, see the other side of the point as well. Not to the situations which are coming up to you, you have to think that yes, if I am feeling low, I am not able to come out of a depressed situation, why? Ask yourself why. Why did it happen? How will you come out of it? And try, just close your eyes and visualize yourself as a powerful person where you can go and give yourself a positivity. That is also our technique of mirroring. 
Absolutely. So, uh, at times it is also important that you have to ask your uh, yourself that why this is happening, what has to be done. And now to uh, Dr. Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth, how uh, can this mirroring self leads to better self? Can you please elaborate for our viewers? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Madhusri has already mentioned so many important points. Uh, in asking question also, I want to add little bit. She say that uh, we can ask question like what, why, how, all these things. So these are uh, these are a habit of analyzing oneself. But here uh, in mirroring self or in self reflection, uh, it is uh, you know I encourage our students to ask what more than why. So uh, asking uh, more about what, what will prioritize your. Uh, you know uh, your life uh, you know whatever plans or whatever uh, you know that you are going to do in your life I think that will help you prioritize more than finding why this is not happening why this is not uh, you know coming why these things are uh, you know lagging instead of asking uh, more about why I think we should ask about what what can I do what can I contribute uh, what is the thing that I have to change? Uh, what is the thing that I have to put my efforts on? So that is what uh, also one thing that I uh, I would like to add. Already I have said that some um, some of the points he has already very beautifully narrated. So here in the mirroring there are five S. So for this uh, for bringing uh, you know for bringing a better self. So here there are uh, five very uh, beautiful and uh, you know meaningful points are there. One is silence, one is summarize, one is self-talk, one is sequencing and seek bless, seek balance. So in silence, silence is what? Silence is like uh, you know is is uh, self being self-compassionate, being self-compassionate, and it's about thinking about your thoughts. So we need to give time to think about our thoughts. So there is a saying also that when when my mind is quiet, my heart starts to speak. Speak. So we need to listen to our heart sometimes. So instead of you know being always uh, you know in a in a in a noisy place, we should find time to be you know uh, uh, to have a calming and quiet time with us. So meditating, focusing. So this will help us to you know to bring our creativity. So silence is important. We need to take a pause. We need to be, you know, sometimes uh, meditating, and we need to find, you know, time to give, uh, you know, uh, to be compassionate to oneself. So that is what is silence about. Now, now summarizing. Summarizing means like when you observe things. Uh, Madhusri was talking about observing things. Uh, uh, that's very important. So when you observe, don't just simply observe. You you analyze situation. You observe in such a way that something which you have seen which is beneficial for you you should be able to summarize it so these silence and summarize are you know the, the the two questions that you can ask to yourself okay am i analyzing the situation am i seeing something which are very useful for me so that thing you have to ask yourself see self mirroring is nothing but asking your analyzing yourself you know asking uh, you know self evaluating introspecting yourself being self aware that is what so you need to summarize. If you don't summarize it, whatever you have observed and whatever you have experienced, you cannot mirror yourself. Then another self-talk. Self-talk uh, is very, very important. Already it has been mentioned by Manjushri also. But one more thing I would like to add here is that, see, self, uh, self-talk is, you know, saying something to yourself about your ability abilities about your capabilities so many a time you know we, we we tend to be in the comfort zone negative comfort zone so i i'm sick i'm not feeling well i i cannot do this so we should try to come out from such kind of you know negative comfort zone many a time this comfort zone keep us back push us back from our doing some you know creativity so self-talk is uh, is very very important you should you should you know introspect and see your ability what is your belief 
what is your potentialities that is hidden in you so that you know you can unwin yourself you can you know bring out manifest your potentiality so self talk we have to practice let us come out from the comfort zone of that you know negativity that I, I, so it's limiting our you know uh, potentiality to come out so that is uh, what is the importance of it and then sequencing so you have to also sequence in you know uh, when you are self reflecting uh, prioritizing your focusing which one which one will be important for my you know for my life okay what i have to plan so you have to sequence it you have to prioritize give focus to what is important to you okay and also seek balance so you have to know that see there are in life there are ups and downs you have a right hand so also you have a left hand so these two if it compatible it work very beautifully so we know we have to know that sometimes weaknesses or sometimes difficulty and challenges are a stepping a stepping stone to our success so we have to know the balance balance between when do i seek uh, you know mindfulness when do i uh, you know uh, self talk okay and then when do i relate to others when do i socialize socialize with others so all these things i think this five things if we can practice it then it will help us progress and and, and develop ourselves absolutely yeah. so these uh, five s have to be kept in mind while mirroring your own self uh, dr elizabeth just two minutes left for today's sayog to be ended just a conclusion remark by you that uh, in, uh, how uh, and uh, what is the importance of self res uh, reflection in our day to day lives See, self reflection is very very important because by being self reflective see you can you can understand some somebody's feelings see if you want to be empathetic you, you, compassionate come from self reflection if you are not self reflection then you you you, you are you, you know you, you are in a uh, you know what what should i say static pond where it doesn't flow out it has to flow with new water like that so you have to keep on cleaning yourself with new thought new knowledge new ideas so that will not come if we don't uh, you know have practice the reflective reflections so also you have to be very kind to yourself be talk nicely to yourself be kind to yourself love yourself also so that you know if you if you are well in yourself you can love others more if you are confuse yourself if you don't know yourself who you are then it's very 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 difficult to empathize with other and to be kind to others so that is what is the importance of self reflection or uh, reflective practice yes absolutely so these things uh, have to be kept in mind uh, madhushri ji just uh, maybe a 20 second remark by you as well in terms of importance of self reflection yes i will uh, just follow elizabeth ma'am that yes you yourself know the best if you yourself know the best you can know and touch this fly in any way you like so Take pause and how to know yourself better, and you will have creative ideas, and then you will set a higher goal for yourself. That Absolutely. So That's these are the yes. These are the keys to remember while mirroring your own self. Uh, we yeah. really thank both the guests, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Gangmeji, who has joined thank us from RIE, yeah. and Madhushri okay. Sharma. Uh, also yes. our practicing counselor for joining us for today's healthy discussion on mirroring of yourself and to our viewers remain connected for such live programs on pm evidya we will be bringing such sessions for you throughout the day thank you namaskar